No, this is not quite bad. But you guys are definitely going to want to take a few minutes to hear me out. Now, as you're all aware, Lost Ark has been available to play in both South Korea and Russia for a while now. However, we have been strung along under the pretense that we'll get a release one day, that they're working on it, and that they want to work on the South Korean version first. Like, that is all well and good. I get it. I actually respect the choice to improve your game in your country of origin before releasing it to the world first. I respect the fact that you want to make sure that your game is actually successful. However, it has been brought to my attention that the international release of the game is actually almost here despite repeated setbacks and constant misdirection from Smilegate. So Smilegate is the South Korean developer behind Lost Ark. They're not in charge of distribution outside of South Korea though. After their initial release in Korea, they opted to take the game into Russia. Why they would opt to release in Russia before either Europe or North America baffles me, but Nevertheless, it was revealed that Mail.ru would be publishing the game within Russia. However, if you've been keeping up with the news, then you would know that Mail actually rebranded their international publisher, My.com, under the new My.Games name recently. My.Games actually publishes various different games internationally, such as Warface, Revelation Online, Conqueror's Blade, Skyforge, and Allods Online. Now, this part in specific is the part that I'm sure you're all waiting for. Mail actually went ahead and posted a blog post on their website that reads as follows. Last year, our company announced My.Games, a platform and international brand created to develop and publish even more great games that we love just like you. Already at the end of 2019, some games became available in the My.Games store, and now it's time for the Lost Ark project to join this platform. Integration of games with the new platform will take place this spring in several stages. Yes, you both read and heard that correctly. That was Mayo's direct confirmation that Lost Ark would be joining the international publisher store alongside a plethora of other internationally available games. Worth noting though is that Russia mentioned the game will be hitting the international store during spring 2020. Spring in Russia begins on March 1st and ends May 31st. This means that the game will become available during that time. However, at the same time, it is interesting that while they mentioned the game will be joining the international store, it mentions nothing about an English translation of the game. Is this alluding to the fact that while it will no doubt join the store in the immediate future, it won't be published via My.Games in English yet, even though every other game published via the service is available localized into English, or are they just a little slow in terms of updates? Scrolling down to the bottom of the announcement, they state that they're going to try and make the transfer to My.Games a comfortable and safe experience for users. This sounds like they're transferring over the Russian servers of the game to My.Games and the My.Games store. After integrating Lost Ark with the My.Games store, Lost Ark will become part of a global platform that unites players from different countries. So again, I reiterate, Lost Ark is coming to the My.Games store. My.Games is an international publisher for the game, and therefore the game is going to be released internationally. But at least presently, I do not see any confirmation of any kind of English localization yet. So while we will be able to log into the My.Games launcher and download and play the game, it's definitely possible we won't be able to actually understand any of it until they decide to translate it. Which, you know, they actually might already have planned, they're just not confirming anything right now even though we're so close to the game actually releasing. Both South Korea and Russia have rolled out a lot of updates for the game in the time that they've been online, and I personally look forward to seeing the game finally release in a form that we can all play. I've been using Exit Lag currently to connect to both the South Korean and Russian version of the game thus far, and even after My.Games published the game, I'll probably continue to do so purely because I know for a fact that their servers suck. I mean, hell, I am disappointed that this is the publisher that we're ending up getting. Like you have Microsoft publishing a PSO2, you have Bandai Namco publishing Blue Protocol, but My.Games publishing Lost Ark is... That is just terrible news. Either way, I am going to play it, just like I'm sure all of you will, but I guarantee you it's not gonna remain free of pay to win for very long. But hey, that's just my opinion, my impressions of the upcoming MMO. What do you guys think though? Let me know down in the comments below and let's talk about it. Anyway guys, that is it for me, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it.